Hey guys, so today we are going to talk a tiny bit about a few cards that went up in price and why they went up in price. So this card is suddenly $4 from probably like bulk. I feel like it was pre-ordering at maybe 25 cents, less than that, and now it's $4. So it's very, very interesting because the interaction I didn't understand was, or I didn't look at this interaction, if you had a dark steel citadel, this card becomes like not bulky anymore. It becomes actually very, very good. It gives you card advantage. It gives you uh, creatures, a bit of blossom. It's like a bit of blossom effect on a coastal piracy. Um, and that's very good. That is definitely, it's seeing play right now in standard in control matchups. Uh, the triggering of the ability, which I felt initially would be difficult to do, is not difficult if you run four uh, citadels, dark steel citadels, this card will trigger automatically. And there's no real, I mean, if you're, you are um, a blue or a blue X type of deck, there's no counter to running dark steel citadel. So this card's gone up in price. Um, it used to, it's about $4 right now. So as of the time of this recording, you can go on TCG player and the median is $4. It is seeing all types of play. Uh, and here's another issue. A lot of people say, like, I don't know what the prices are. I definitely do because I check right before the video. And even if the price does go down, you can check the graph on TCG Player to see that, it yes, at one time it's $4. Now, this card might drop um, significantly. Uh, but as of now, it's seeing a lot. It's seeing a decent amount of standard play. It is standard viable. And I do see it being the heart of one of the decks. Uh, the ability to make these little tokens is quite, it, it's a great ability. Bit of Blossom, when it was legal, dominated. Now, is this Bit of Blossom? Absolutely not. Um, it is not the two drop, one one a turn, uh, guaranteed a turn card, but it's good. In standard, the card does not have to be Bit of Blossom to be good. This card has to just generate uh, advantage um, and a control type of scenario, these 1-1s one -ones are incredibly valuable. They are good for blockers. They can draw you some more cards. Uh, they get you out of a pickle really fast. And I love the card. I played it at pre-release and it was very good at pre-release, but I didn't feel like it would be like a $4 card. Remember this card was like 20 cents, maybe less. And it is a $4 card now. So incredible pickup if you really, had the insight to say, hey, this is a card that will be doing well, um, then you are a better MTG financier than I am. And I don't know anyone saying this card was good uh, previously to it being good, becoming good. And that just shows you how random or uh, how knowledgeable uh, the, I guess, the people who are giving this information are, because this would be the ideal speculation for uh, subscribers, right? would be if I told everyone, hey, there's a card that's 25 cents or whatever. I mean, it's bulk. It was so bulk when I played it uh, at pre-release. And then so suddenly it becomes $4. Then everyone's happy. Um, I think the last time that's ever happened, or the only time it's ever happened, is Underworld Connections. And this reminds me a ton of that card, but it's at four and it might go higher. I really might go higher, especially like if you picked up four copies of this card, like you're kidding me, right? You're sitting on a $7, $8 foil right now, which is uh, insane. Like that's uh, pretty good. I would say that uh, you made out really well in that case. Um, much better in the foils than the non-foils. But, wow. This card did take me by surprise. I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, you know, I told you so, because I didn't tell you so, and it would be kind of bad for me to say I did. Uh, I played with it a lot at pre-release. I loved it, but I didn't see quite how it would be standard playable, but it definitely is standard playable because it, I mean, there's no, there's hard evidence that the card is being played in standard right now. So a very interesting card. Again, we're going to talk about a $7, $8 card, which again was bulk, pre-ordering for like bulk pretty much. And we'll see like why people miss this card as well. Bye guys.